Hi, it's Miss Dow here. Today we're going to have a look at a really interesting piece from an Italian opera called Donna Emmerbeel. It's on the accompanied grade one flute and it's by Verdi. This piece is an aria taken from a much bigger opera, so it's a little song within a big show and it's sung by a really arrogant and drunk duke who is in a tavern at the time. So it's got to have a little bit of swagger and it's got to have a little bit of panache. So we're gonna be a little bit pompous about this one and have a load of character. First of all, I'm gonna play it through for you. You can play along if you want to. Then I'm gonna go through the building blocks of the piece and what the examiner is gonna be looking for. There's loads of detail in this one. So there's plenty for us to look at. So this piece, this piece is accompanied by a piano and in the beginning we have a two bar piano introduction before we play our first note. So that means you need to count six beats because we are in three, four. We haven't got four beats in the bar like normal, we only have three so it's going to be one, two, three, two, two, three, play. The tune uses a lot of dotted quavers. You'll see that we've got a little dot and then a dash next to our normal quavers. That makes the a dotted quaver means that the first note is much longer than the second one. So instead of a coffee, we've got a wonky, we've got a little bit of a limp. So instead of we've got and that rhythm comes throughout the piece. When we're talking about rhythm, you'll also notice that in bar 17, we have three notes with a three underneath. That means that these are a triplet. We need to do all three notes in the space of one beat. So we're gonna pick another word. We're gonna use broccoli. So we get broccoli, T, T, T. So that those three notes fit into our one beat. In terms of speed, it says allegretto at the end or 120 beats a minute. That's fairly fast. One thing to really watch out for with this piece is that we have lots of repeated notes and the danger here is, is that we're going to speed up. It's already a fairly fast tempo. We don't need to push it any further and the examiner will really notice if that beat is going ahead. Also, your poor accompanist might have to really catch up with you if you rush. So make sure those repeated notes, for instance, the first three E's really fit with the beat. E, 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 just because they're the same doesn't make them faster. So the speed I just played was 120 beats a minute and that's what you've got to aim for. But in your practice, if you find that a little bit fast, don't be afraid to slow down and then speed it up. So a nice practice speed might be this. <laughs> So we don't have to go too fast when we practice, but in the exam we should be aiming to get it nice and sprightly at that 120 beats a minute. You'll see in bar 15 that we have the word writ above the notes. That means that we've got to suddenly slow down. The Italian word is ritenuto. Suddenly we're going to put the brakes on. When we get to bar 16, we have a little hat above the A, which is a fermata or a pause. And it's kind of like jazz hands. Our duke suddenly made a big entrance, made a big statement, and then we move on. So that is going to go like this. And then we carry on as normal afterwards. 
you'll notice that within the first section we have a repeat which means that you're going to go back from bar 10 to bar 3 and do the same section again but the second time you do it you've got to be quieter so that gives us a little bit of contrast even though we're playing the same thing the other dynamics in this piece come after the repeat we go from mp and then we have the word cresc a crescendo means that we're going to gradually get louder so as the music also gets higher and we go to this big dramatic pause we're going to get a little bit louder every time so every two bars we're going to jump up in pitch and we're going to jump up in volume like this <laughs> We start really quietly and then we grow and get really loud up until that pause. The word our tempo just means that we're going to go back to our normal speed. The dynamics and articulation they're what give this arrogant duke his big character and really make this piece shine. So the dynamics are our louds and quiets. Moving on to the articulation, which is how we tong or slur the notes, you'll notice we've got some staccatos and we've got some slurs. The staccatos are short and detached notes. That is where we're going to play tonged, but we're going to make them nice and spiky and bouncy. So instead of a tar, we go tap. Here's an example. Here's a normal tong. And now staccato with our little spots above. We're going to be super spiky. So you've got that t, but nothing after it. Then you'll notice we've got some slurs. There are the notes that are connected by a line. That means we've got to tong the first note and move over to the next one while we're still blowing. So we get ta ta. You've got to tongue the first one and then the one immediately after it. And it doesn't matter how many notes are connected by the slur, you just keep adding them in. So for example, in bar nine, we have three notes slurred together. And that means we've got to move our fingers, we've got to jump between the C and the A, and we've still got to move our fingers really smoothly. We don't want to hear any notes in between that. So it's really good to practice tonged first and then slur it to get rid of all those in between notes. You will notice that there are also some notes which have a line above them, which is a tenuto. For example, the very last note. This means it's the opposite of staccato. We're going to play broadly and it's just to tell us that we've got to make those long notes their full length. So here's the very end with a nice broad note at the end. I'm going to play the piece through one last time for you to play along and check out all of that extra detail. See if you can put in all the staccatos, all the slurs and all the dynamics as well as those notes and rhythms to get the best possible marks in this exam. <laughs> enjoyed this tutorial and have been practicing check out our youtube channel for more tutorial videos on the grade one pieces and further up the grades we've also got some technical exercises for you to have a look at as well